Welcome back. Lesotho Health Minister Nkaku Kabi is inspecting progress and compliance to companies and facilities that have been granted marijuana licenses. Lesotho has had to drastically increase its license fees from a half a million to five million rand to deal with license owners not being fully compliant. Some hoard licenses for unscrupulous reasons. Welcome to the Mountain Kingdom, a place where your destination is not measured by kilometers but the length of time it takes to arrive there. A two-hour drive takes you to a place called Maraca Bay. This is where one of the most successful cannabis factories is showing promise. A female plant makes the flower and a male plant makes the, um, makes the little pollen sacs. Mm. Is this what you import? More than 250 million rands has been pumped into this flagship cannabis plant. It is already extracting 12,000 liters of cannabis oil per annum. Projections of 100,000 liters per annum when it is fully functional is predicted. In the US and in Canada, you would buy a liter of uh, this extract for 79,000 US dollars. But apparently here we got a report that uh, a liter cost 18,000 uh, US dollars. The minister has allayed fears that prohibitive license fees may hinder local ownership. The cultivator fees has leaped from 500,000 to 5 million per license. One of the reasons is to try and cap the, the flow that is going to the ministry for everyone trying to look for the, for the cannabis license. But apparently when you get on the ground, there are no operations. We have only two, I think, or three guys who are running since they obtained the license. And the rest have been issued license a year or two ago, but still, there is nothing on the ground. You first extracted CO2, it's crude oil. This state-of-the-art facility currently employs 300. The emphasis is on local labor. I used to work in the industrial firms. After registering here, I then got a call from here and resumed work here. I see Lesotho as um, a world-class producer of uh, medicinal cannabis products, pharmaceutical grade. And I think that is where our focus should be as a country. But as Africa is fast catching up on the cannabis bug, can Lesotho find its competitive advantage? That says in the next few years, there's going to be a lot of product uh, being, being, being cannabis. So it means as a, as, a, as a wise investor, your focus should be on the end product being uh, pharmaceutical products. Lesotho is the first African country to legalize use of cannabis for extraction of cannabis oil for export and research purposes. The multi-billion industry is seen as a likely game changer to transform the tiny mountain kingdom from the least developed country to a self-sustainable economic giant in Africa. Hey. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. SABC News, Maraca Bailey, Soto.